Hey, welcome back. So now that we have all our files set up here in Sublime Text, let's load them in our browser. So open your browser and uh, type localhost. And after localhost, we will type point of cell POS because that's the folder that I sent this to. And then I'm just going to type public. So it's localhost slash point of sale slash public, enter. And so I get this empty page here. So if it says something else like page not found or something, uh, then you must have typed something wrong here. So make sure you're not using HTTPS. Um, make sure you are selecting the correct folder here and the file actually exists, which is this index.php file. All right, so on top of that, we need to add our bootstrap here and we will need font awesome as well. I forgot that in the previous video. So just make sure you uh, search for font awesome just for the icons, right? Font awesome is great for uh, icons. So while that loads, because my internet is terribly slow as usual, we'll wait for it. Let's get the assets for, oh, there we go. So font awesome is here, start for free, click that, or you can click, uh, where is the download button on this thing? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, clearly they want you to level up. Okay, so instead, uh, start for free. Let's click that and see what happens. Yes, 1,600 icons, great. And uh, download right here okay so download the folder uh install locally serve font awesome yourself yes uh, install locally and use desktop apps uh yeah this is weird but just download here once you do the download a folder um where is my folder so i have font awesome 5.1 Point five here. Then um, looking for the uh, yes, this one. The, so don't get the desktop version. Get the web version. That's the one we are using here. So that's the one. Extract it, and uh, once you extract, it's here. So I'm going to copy all of these. Font awesome. Uh, the extracted version, and Bootstrap, the distributable version. Just the folders that you download there. And I'm going to copy these. Let me put them in my um, here point of sale folder. Let's go to public and assets. And I just want to put them here. Paste. So yeah, quite a number of files. And we really don't need all those files in there. We just need very specific files. So it was actually a bad idea to copy all of them. I should have just copied very specific files. But it helps to have reference here so that uh, you know exactly which folders I am copying those files that I do copy from. So give it uh, a chance to do something here. So this is all good. Now, while we wait for that, um, we can type something here on our page. Now, the index page is going to be our router. So it's going to route uh, files. We don't want to put code directly uh, in here we want it instead to find the right controller that we want and then the controller will load the right view so that's how the process is going to go so only the index page will be loaded at any point so maybe we do need that hd access file after all but it's okay uh, let's try it without it for now so what I'm going to do is just create a switch statement right here. So we're going to say switch like that. And we're going to create a variable called, um, uh, yes, let's see here. Actually, this is the get variable here. Mm. Let's do this. Uh, or let's write controller. So we're going to write something like controller here. So create a variable called controller. And in this variable, what we want to get is what is in the URL, okay? So if I go here now, 
uh, we are on localhost point of sale public so by default our index page is loaded but if we want to be uh, thorough we can say index.php at the end like so so this is the full path of the situation now at the moment there are no values in our get variable so we can see this by if i comment this out down here and uh, this one as well for now so what i want us to see is i want us to see what is inside the get so i'm going to use print readable print raw function and i'm going to put the get super global in there so this get variable is where all the values in the url are kept any values after a question mark so if i refresh now it will show me that it's an empty array like this but if i were to put a question mark here and uh, type something like uh, key is equal to value uh, then things change because now I have key which has a value of value and if I put an and at the end and say maybe page is equal to 2 then I get more values so we have key is equal to value page is equal to 2 and I can keep adding things by putting and here um, maybe I'll say view is equal to home something like that and I keep getting those things there now for this to look better as usual I will echo out some pre tags because I like to do that like so I like it when uh, arrays uh, look like this instead because it's more clear what's going on there's a key and a value key and a value etc so let's create a function that we would do this for us on our behalf so I don't have to type this printer echo this and so on so inside core folder i'm going to right click and say new file and save this as functions.php so so functions.php is going to contain all the functions that we need to use in this system so i'll create a function called show and put a variable called data in there so whatever data we give this function it's going to do a print r like so and it will print whatever data has been supplied and of course i wanted this part especially so i'll cut this and paste it there but i need to close this so it doesn't disturb anything below so all we are doing when we say show is just putting some pre-tags and then echoing out whatever data is in there now we for this uh function to work it must be loaded as part of the system so currently the only page that is active is the index page and there's no way of us connecting to functions if i try now to say show uh, using that function get like this i will get an error which says uh, call to undefined function because it doesn't know what this function is because it wasn't loaded so we need a way to load all core files here and we can do that using a inside core here i'll create a new file and save this file as init.php so that's our initialization file so all this file is going to do is include other files that's it so it's just going to require because these files are required uh, so we'll say require now uh, keep in mind that we are going to be in the index page so everything is relative to the index page so we have to go a folder up from the index page which is inside public we want to go to the up folder so that's up slash and then in there we're going to core and inside core we will have the file called init.php like that oh sorry my bad i have to require this in the index page right at the top there like that okay so from the index page i go up into up folder and then from up inside core and then in init.php but in the init page itself i want it to include its siblings in here so for example i want the functions.php included all right so what i've simply done is include one file in the index page the reason I've done this is because I don't want to have 
10 or 20 require statements in the index page. I want to keep it as clean as possible. So instead, I'll, in, I'll require one file and that file is going to require many files here. So that works better uh, to keep the index page clean. Here, I'll just include one. This one will include 10, 20 files in here. Okay, and part of that is the functions page. So this is good. And let's test it to see if our function will respond and it has responded, which means things are going accordingly to plan. Okay, great. So now that we have that function and uh, let's set up our controller. So controller is going to be equal to home like this. So this is because we want a default value of home page. So if we can't find any controller anywhere, it's going to default to the home page. And after that, um, wait a second here. So after that, it's possible that uh, the controller will exist and we'll put the controller in page name. So it's going to be like this, www.website.com. And then there'll be a question mark, of course, and then there'll be page underscore name like this is equal to home like this. So this is how we get to the home page, right? This will take us to the home page, or this will take us to the home page because by default we'll have home there. So what we are looking for is the variable page name inside the get variable. So here I can do this. I can say if I say is set like this, get okay. Uh, page name like that if that one is set then let's set controller to whatever that value is so controller changes to whatever the value is in the url at that time if it doesn't exist no problem controller will automatically be set to home which is great all right so all this is just for us to be able to route files properly but we can simplify this entire code here by just doing this. If I say controller, and then I'm going to put um, uh, get this one. I'll copy this and put it there and put two uh, question marks like that and then put home. So what this means is that check if this exists. If it does, then send whatever value is in here into controller. If it doesn't exist, set controller to home so then we can get rid of all this just that one line solves the problem all right so now we want to see what controller is so i'm going to paste that and save so let's see here if i refresh it's home because we don't have any page name in there so let me remove all of these and just leave with index and then we have home there which is nice but if we try and put a question mark and say page underscore name is equal to, let's say uh, admin, and then it changes to admin now. So the beauty of having um, of this point of sale, even though you're going to use a browser, if, if you want to manage to use PHP desktop, you're going to use a browser as the final application uh, container. Since this is a point of sale, it doesn't need SEO or search engine optimization. So we can use the way, the natural way of um, navigation in PHP here by using query strings like this, because it doesn't matter if the URLs look nice or clean at the end of the day, as long as the application is working, because nobody's going to be searching for this point of sale application online. It will be for a specific shop uh, at a specific time and it will only be used by employees it doesn't need to be searched for so these no need for clean urls that's why we're going this direction to save time and development time that's what i mean here so home our routing system seems to be working fine so point of sale point of sale there we go so all we need now is to get whatever the controller is and look for a file that resembles this one Okay, so once we have that, we are good. Now we need to import files. So in here, in the controllers page, I'm going to right click and say new file and um, just put some PHP tags like so and save this as home.php. All right, great. 
so now we're going to be looking for this home uh, controller so here I'm just going to echo and say home controller like that so if we see home controller then we know that this file has loaded great so what we would do now in the index page is to tell it to find a file so I'm just going to make sure that we keep this at string to lower so I'm going to say string to lower meaning I want to convert whatever name that the user has given the URL because keep in mind that this is user supplied data so you should never trust it uh, we have to send it to lowercase and we need to check if a file exists that has this name so we're just going to say if file exists actually what we would do is just to reduce this I'm going to move the string to lower here like that so that it's done uh, in line we know this one is lowercase anyway so if file exists controller like this what have I done what have I done okay so if the file exists then require the file so let's require that file now controller is just a name like home in here so what we need to do is concatenate some dot php at the end and then that's not all because this file is in the controllers so we need to get this part here so copy that and put that there and connect it so instead of core it's going to ask for the controller folder like this so we're going to go up in the app folder controllers and look for a file that's named after the page name so if it's home we're looking for home.php file if that file exists then let's require that file so i'm going to copy this and put that there like so okay great and uh, if all goes well i'll refresh and the file does not exist here so we can put an else statement and say uh, echo controller not found like this okay so if i now refresh it says controller not found it's okay if i type home at the end uh, controller not found still so that's disturbing uh, we are supposed to have found something so it's not controller it's controller z so i think that was my bad there so refresh and home controller is active let's try another controller point of sale controller not found and if we remove everything here except index.php uh, we get a warning so undefined array key page name on line 5 so let's see where that problem is all right so the problem is putting the string to lower here i guess uh, so that defeats the purpose of uh, because the reason this is giving a problem is because it's trying to do a string to lower before it actually checks if the value exists or not if this item exists or not so we can't have this here so what i'll do is do this string to lower and then just put controller down there so we'll lower the text after we have already given it a value so i'll remove this and that this should solve the problem so let's re oops what did i do and there we go so if we don't type anything uh, home controller and if we type page name is equal to anything else controller not found if we put home then it finds the home controller so this is great so we've made a routing system here which is awesome but uh, it's kind of rough we need to perfect it a little bit more so let's do that in the next video